I don't need a man. I'm a strong, independent woman. If I was a man in today's society, I would not get married. Let me explain. Yeah. In the modern era, marriage is completely outdated. The ta What's going on with women these days? We used to be a lot happier than men. Tired of being single? Well, maybe you should lower your standards a little bit. I'm quite literally rolling around in horse trying to get trying to get this, this bottom thing off my car. Mm, I don't want that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. I'm trying to get this off, and they need a, I need a screwdriver. And I just, I just wish someone would, would pull over and help me because I don't know. What to do. Oh, someone just pulled over. No way. Thank you so much. Why do so many women feel like they hit a wall at 35? It's about more than just age. Let's talk about what's really going on. I don't know who needs to hear this, but having a man or getting married is not going to solve your problem. I was married, I was in a very long relationship, and I will tell you, the man does not solve it. The man often is contributing to it. Every problem, every angst, every misalignment in your life is for you to solve, and you have the power to solve every single thing that doesn't feel in alignment in your life. This idea that having a man is going to solve those things for us is one of the most delusional things I've ever seen in my life. Whatever your life looks like right now, if you feel like this is not the life that I want, it's up to you to go out and create the life that you want. Like, get your money right. Get your career in a place that you're excited about. Build friendships. Find love outside of romantic love. Create the world that you want to live in. Because I swear to God, one of the most disappointing things in life will be this lie that has been sold to us that finding romantic love and partnership is going to automatically flip a switch and suddenly we're in our dream world. She's right. Marriage won't magically solve your problems. A relationship can't fix an unhappy life. The truth is, you've got to work on yourself, build your life, and then find someone who adds value not tries to fix things for you. Six brutally honest and slightly controversial reasons why I'm still single. Number one, I can't multi-date. If I fancy someone, I'm just not interested in anybody else. We're living in a culture of options and rosters. We're actively encouraged to be dating multiple people at once so that when one person lets you down, you've got other people to fall back on. I just can't do it. I'm not interested. Number two, I want to feel an instant spark. These days, we're taught that it's unhealthy if you feel an instant spark on fireworks with the person that you're dating, and supposedly it's your nervous system reacting to them being bad for you. I'm sorry, if I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with someone, I wanna fancy the pants off them, and I want there to be a really strong connection between us. I've tried dating guys in the past where there was absolutely no spark, but I kept going because I knew they were a good person, and the spark never came. So you end up just wasting people's time and wasting your own time. I've got plenty of friends who went on a date and were so excited about the person, fancied them, couldn't wait to see them again. Now they're together and happier than ever. So every time I go on a date and I'm like, mm, not really sure I fancied him, and people are like, oh no, just give him a chance. I'm like, no, I want to hold out for a really strong connection and I'm not wasting my time on lukewarm connections. I need to be heavily pursued. Like a lot of women, I've spent many years in the current dating pool, which is full of men who are low effort, they lie, they're disrespectful, they ghost, they lead you on and they use you. So unless a man is actively pursuing me and showing me that he's serious for a prolonged period of time, it's not gonna go anywhere because I'm just gonna assume that he's another of these low effort, unserious men. Because in the past, whenever I felt like I didn't know where I stood with someone, it was just because they didn't like me. Past experience has taught me if a man isn't actively pursuing you and making a ton of effort. While chemistry is important, real connections take time. Holding out for fireworks might leave you stuck, especially if you're 35 and still waiting for that perfect spark. Sometimes deeper connections take a bit longer to form. There's absolutely no exception to this, and that is if you were hot before you started dating and you've progressively gotten less hot to your own standards, like you look at a picture and you're like, mm, I'm less hot than I was when we started dating, it's time to go. Every single time it is She's saying if you feel less attractive in a relationship, it's time to go. But relationships are about growing together, not leaving because your self-confidence dips. Focusing only on physical attraction can make hitting the wall even harder. Do you know how a lot of girls feel like the guy that they have dated or are dating is gay, but mm -hmm. they can't really put their finger on it? Yeah. I finally cracked the code. 
did you? And it changed my life. Tell us. A lot of men are gay, not in the sense where they're like attracted to other men physically, but they're not because gay. they do not respect women or see them as like equally important, love and validation from a woman will never do it for them. So they might be physically attracted to women, mm -hmm. but emotionally they are seeking validation from men. So if you feel like this okay. Men are gay if they don't seek validation from women. This is just off. A man's self-worth shouldn't depend on constantly proving something to women. Men having their own ambitions doesn't make them any less masculine. I'm the type of girl that if we go out for drinks and we're having a good time and I'm all dressed up, and if you keep messing with me and teasing me, you know, while I'm over there being a passenger princess, oh, we're pulling the truck over. Something is happening. And if you've never done that, because you two couldn't wait any longer for each other, you're not living, baby. And you need to go on a date night, have a few drinks, get that good, good feel, and pull over on the side of the road. And if you get caught, so what? That's the thrill of it. That's the best part. So go out there and live. Sure, fun is great. But if you're feeling stuck at 35, it might be time to rethink whether short-term excitement is really the answer. Long-term fulfillment is key. That's it for today's breakdown. If you want more honest reactions like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you in the next one.